Hey, Al Angelo here from A-Plus Racing. Uh, gonna cover wheel alignment today. So basically what we got here is we got a car that was at Laguna Seca this weekend, ended up breaking a lower ball joint. So we had to replace it at the track. We kind of do a tape measure alignment to get the racer back into the race again. But now that we got it back here at our shop, the plan is to go ahead and fine tune the alignment. So I'm gonna show you today what I do to uh, set up alignment on spec Miata. And this is a good place to start as a basic novice, advanced drivers like these settings. So I'm gonna show you what my settings are. Me personally, in my own car, I do the settings slightly different, slightly faster, but slightly looser. The car doesn't handle as well, but it's slightly faster, and that's what I'm trying to go for. But I'm gonna show you a basic one that you can get away with until you're dang near up to the podium, all right? So first off, let's look and see where these numbers are at. So come on over here and I'll show you. Yeah, this is a fancy dancy alignment machine here. But uh, anyhow, so what we're looking at, I know it must look like Greek to you who've never done an alignment, but I'm gonna try to explain what they all are, and that way you'll know what we're changing and why we're changing it. So this right here is my camber, and for the left wheel and the right wheel, and you can see that this side here is uh, on the front is negative 2.6. On this side here, uh, the right side is negative 2.7. That's pretty good. And I like to use those settings for most tires. Um, the Hoosiers, I might go a little bit less because they have a stiffer sidewall than this car. This car uh, is going to have the double R's on it. It has Hoosiers on it right now. But uh, I like that setting, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, the cross camber here is 0.1, and so that means that the difference between the two is one. Let me see if I can touch this thing up a little bit here. All right, there we go. Good. Now it's not blinking. Okay, and then um, our caster right here is uh, 3.5 positive and 2.1 positive. I like to keep that somewhere around in there. Um, I don't move the casters too much. It's more of a, it is a handling angle, but it's also a pulling angle, and so I just kind of get it close together and we leave them right there. Um, the caster split is right there. Now here's the big one, the toe. My toe on my left and my toe on my right. So this minus means that that tire on the left is pointed out away from the car. So it's pointed out 0.11 uh, degrees, which is about an eighth of an inch. On this side, it is pointed out 0.28, which is more than a quarter of an inch. So it's a little much. And then my total, if I add these together, it's towed out uh, negative 0.39, which means the, the wheels are actually going down the road like this, which I do want, but not quite that much. And then we go on down to the back. So on the back, my camber, negative 1.7 on the left rear. So that's the, the tilt of the tires, and we'll talk about that in a minute. On the right, it's negative 2.3. And my, my toe, although I like this number, the wheels are pointing off in one direction. So I'm gonna try to fix that. And, uh, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. So for now, let's go into the shop and see if we can uh, look and see what does all this mean? All right, follow me. All right, so it's Al from A Plus Racing. We're back in the classroom now. And so I've drawn the three alignment angles that we're gonna use. Now there are other alignment angles also with alignments, but like scrub radius and steering axis inclination and stuff like that. But we're not too concerned about those things right now. Well, I'm just gonna teach you these basics. So the first thing I wanna teach you about is camber, okay? And camber is the tilt of the tires at the top. So like if the tires are straight up and down, that's zero camber. As they tilt in towards the engine, that's negative camber. As they tilt out away from the engine, that's positive camber. I know, you guys like it like this. All right, and there is a benefit to running negative camber. One of the benefits is more traction in a turn, all right? So when you're going through a turn, that wheel will stand up and you're gonna get a full footprint on one side of your turn. So you're gonna get a, a wider footprint which will be more traction. The problem is, is tire wear. Anytime you have excessive camber like this, you're gonna end up with tire wear. But in the racing, we're not really concerned about tire wear as we are about traction. So we run our cars roughly around negative 2.5. I might run up to negative 3.5 depending on the track and the tire and the condition, stuff like that. But 2.5 is a great place to start off, okay? Either front and rear, negative 2.5, you'd be happy there all day long, all right? So, and they're adjustable on a Miata for front and rear, which is really cool. Um, but it is done with a cam, so there's only so much I can get out of the cam before I can't get any more than 
we're going back the wrong way. So hopefully on our car, we still got room on the cam and uh, we can make our adjustments. All right, so that's camera. Tilt of the, the wheel, either in or away from the car. All right, let's move on to cash. Okay, so I drew the, <clears throat> I drew the caster here. Caster's pretty easy to explain. You have a lower ball joint and you have an upper ball joint. If I drew an arrow through there, that's my caster. So this is zero. And if I was to add here, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this six degrees positive caster. So anything on this side is positive. Anything on this side is negative. All right, so we've got, we got like six degrees positive caster. I would never run that much caster, but you know, I just drew this up here. So the line between the lower ball joint and the upper ball joint on the degree wheel, that's how we measure our caster. Now, the one that's really critical here, the last one is toe. So now in this case, <clears throat> you're looking at the wheels from like the hood, like you're suspended flying over the car and you're looking down. So if the wheels are dead straight ahead, and I, what I did is I, I did it in inches. I measured 54 inches on the front and then 54 inches on the rear. So it's a wash and that's zero toe, all right? Now, as I stayed over there, we have a negative, so we're towed out. That's what this is. So if the wheels are pointing out this way, it's a negative and it's towed out. If the wheels are pointing in and it's a positive, there won't be a negative. So negative tells me that the tires are pointed out, okay? So, and we can do that with a tape measure also. We could measure here, and let's say it was 54 inches, and then measure the back, and say it was 53 inches, then we know that we're, we're towed out one inch, okay? So uh, one inch would be, would be 0 .100, 0 1.000. So um, usually in tow, we just deal with inches, all right? So that's tow, and tow's really important. On, on my spec Miatas, I like to run the rear toe towed in a little bit, and I like to run the front toe towed out a little bit. And the reason why I do that <clears throat> is it gives the car a more secure feeling going into a turn. So when you go into a turn, the car feels very stable and very precise on its, um, on its turning. Um, I run my toes zero, zero. And the reason why I do that is because you gotta remember, you're towed in a little bit, towed out a little bit, you're going down the straightaway, you're gonna be scrubbing off a little bit of speed because of that toe. So if you run them zero, you won't be scrubbing off any speed and it makes the car a little bit faster. But what it does do is it makes the car pretty squirrely going into a turn. So you gotta be sawing on that wheel knowing that that car is not gonna feel real stable going in. But I'm used to driving like that. So the car's slightly faster if I run zero. I recommend, if you're just starting out, that you do a little bit of towed in on the rear and a little bit of towed out on the front. Okay, all right. Let's go back to the car. Let's make some adjustments. Okay, we're underneath the car and I wanna show you where the adjustments are. So there's two adjustments on each side. There's a cam right here. There's a cam right here. There's a cam right here. And there's a cam right there. Okay, so that's how we make our adjustments on the back of the car. Now, we've looked these numbers over and we've got a problem. I can't get enough cam movement to get the car into alignment to where I really want it. So something back here is bent. It could be the subframe, could be the hubs, something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and finish out the alignment even though it's not gonna be where I want it to be, just so you understand what I'm doing. Okay, I wanna show you this cam right here. I really need this control arm to move that way. When it does move that way, not only are we gonna get more negative camber, but it's gonna push the front of the tire in, which is what I really need. Unfortunately, I ran out of cam. There's not enough cam there. So I'll go ahead and I've loosened up the nut and I'll go ahead and move it so you can see what's going on. But you can watch this control arm, see how it's getting sucked in? Okay, so now I'm getting towed out more, but I actually need to go the other way. But right there, that's the maximum towed out that I can get, because the cam ran out. So that's my, prim my parameters that I have to mess with here. And unfortunately, I don't have a nut. So I think it might have a bit subframe. Um, we might have to change that out and then realign it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this at the max and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up. And, uh, and then we'll just continue on with the alignment 
so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, all right. Now, when I get done with the alignment, and if this car was right, what I would do is I take a little paint mark and I put a little paint on the cam and a little paint on the subframe so that if this ever comes loose on the racetrack, I kind of know where the alignment is. So I always do that on these cars. And so uh, this one is in yellow, but it's kind of faded out right there. So uh, you got to make sure that these are super tight because they do come loose, especially on the racetrack, they come loose. So we want to make sure we tighten those up as tight as we can possibly get them and then mark the cams to where I could see them from this way. I teach high school auto and sometimes the, kid, the kids put the paint mark on this side. You can't see it from under the car. So put the paint mark on this side so you can see and identify that the cams haven't moved. All right, we're gonna start moving on over to the front. I'm back up here at the screen. I'm looking at what we got. If I'm looking at the rear, um, I'm at negative 1.5 and this side's at negative 2.4. Uh, my total toes, which I'm really interested in, is 0.17-ish, and that's slightly towed in in the rear. So, um, you know, 12 and a half is an eighth of an inch, so it's towed in a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. That's not too bad. So I kind of like that. Um, but everything is pointed in that direction. So something is going on with that subframe, or there's something wrong. And I think if I had to pick one side, I'd say that it's something wrong with this side. All right, we're going to go ahead and move to the front. Camber, spot on, man, it looks nice. Camber, caster, looks great. But this toe is off, okay? So I got this wheel pointed out about a quarter of an inch. And I got this side pointed out about an eighth of an inch. That makes for a crooked steering wheel. The total toe on the front is towed out. Remember, it's got a negative, so 0.37. So I'm gonna try to get these to where it's towed out about negative 0.10-ish, okay? And that these are even. So what I've done is I've weighted the car with the approximate weight of a driver, about 200 pounds. So there's 200 pounds in the driver's seat and I've locked the steering wheel in the straight position because I want to get done with the alignment. I don't want the steering wheel to be crooked, okay? I want the steering wheel to be straight. So I've locked the steering wheel straight, I've weighted the car, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and uh, make this move right here. All right, so let's get down under the car, under the front, and we will. All right, we're back under the car in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set the toe. If I had to change the camber, I would move this cam right here. I know it's a little difficult to see, just like the rear. There's a cam here and there's a cam here. If I had to move the caster, it would be this cam back here, okay? And that cam back there. All right, and you can even see the little paperwork on it. All right, so that's for the camber, that's for the caster. But we're not doing that, ours is good. We're gonna set the toe by turning the inner tie rod in, which is right here. So what I need to do first is I need to loosen up the jam nut. So I got my 17 millimeter. Okay, I got it loose. I'm gonna back it off a few turns. All right, so if I look at the screen, I'm at negative 0.15 and I need to be a little bit less than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pair of pliers on the, uh, on the shaft and I'm just gonna turn them. So I need to go towed in, so I'm going to thread it in. Really I am. Good. All right, boys are fun. Now I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to crack loose this jam nut. <sighs> okay, well, same thing. I want to try to match it. So I'm at negative 1.6. I got to come in a little bit. Tighten up this jam nut. 
I'm gonna make sure this one's tight. Okay. All right, let's check it out. Okay. I'm at a total toe of negative one, two, which is about an eighth of an inch towed out in the front. I'm towed in in the rear a little bit more than anything, but that's okay. I can't fix this camber. The to total toe is right, but both wheels are pointing off in that direction. That's why it says thrust angle. Thrust angle is the direction that the rear end is pointing. It's off by over an inch, or just about an inch. So it's an inch pointing that way. So, which kind of means that the car is gonna kind of be going down the road a little crooked, but you'll never notice an inch. But I do like to get them straight. But as far as my total numbers are concerned, I'm on the money, all right? So, uh, but we're gonna probably do a video another time on how to replace that rear subframe. It's not the easiest job in the world, but it's gotta be done. All right, so those are my alignment angles. That's what I use to set up Spec Miatas. Um, Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I'll try to answer them as they come in. Hope you guys have a great day and welcome over to our shop. Thank you from A Plus Racing. Have a nice one.